Hello guys, uh, in this video I'm going to go ahead and try to explain how to connect uh, to run uh, Zwift and Trainer Road simultaneously on a PC. Uh, one of the things that you need to have is uh, ANT plus dongle uh, to connect to your trainer and if your PC is Bluetooth compatible you can use Bluetooth to connect to uh, your trainer as well. Uh, if your PC is only uh, ANT plus then you might need to get two different ANT plus dongles to be able to connect to your trainer via Zwift and uh, trainer road. Uh, in this example I'm gonna go ahead and, and I have a Mac mini and uh, Mac is compatible with uh, uh, I mean Zwift can run uh, Bluetooth and use a Bluetooth signal on my Mac to connect to the trainer and I'm also, I also have a Tax Neo which is an ANT Plus and Bluetooth compatible. So uh, first thing we need to do is open Zwift and uh, go ahead and uh, in the Pair Devices screen we're going to go ahead and search and I'm going to make, make sure the first thing is you want to do is make sure you are using the ANT uh, Plus and you, you can tell uh, by you can see the dongle the ANT plus uh, icon here uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and select the tax neo and click OK uh, as far as uh, cadence I'm gonna go ahead and also select the speed and cadence from my tax neo and the one thing you want to make sure to do is because we do not want Zwift to control the resistance so I'm gonna go ahead and impair the controllable trainer if you have a heart rate monitor you can do that I do not have one and uh, right now but you should be able to pair it uh, with the ANT plus uh, protocol as well so this is how the pair screen should look like on Zwift so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it uh, click OK here and I'm just gonna leave it at here right now I'm also gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just adjust the screen a little bit and give a little, little space here at the bottom and that's where we're going to dock the trainer road. Next thing I want to do is open trainer road and under devices we're going to use Bluetooth to connect to my tax Neo. Remember we use ANT Plus in Zwift and here I'm going to use Bluetooth. Uh, if you have a second ANT Plus dongle you can use the ANT Plus here but right now since Zwift is using it you can see trainer road is telling me that ANT plus is not available uh, now Bluetooth is on and it already found my tax Neo so I'm just gonna click on that and I should be good to go here if you want to use the erg mode you can do that or if you want to switch it to resistance you can do that as well uh, but we're gonna leave it at erg mode right now and let's kind of go ahead and select a workout. Uh, let's see here. Load workout. Once it loads, you're going to see the bottom of the screen here. You're going to see minimal. So we're going to do that. And now notice how trainer road just docked at the bottom of the screen. If you want to bring it back up, you can just click on window. Otherwise, just leave it like, like this. And I'm going to go back to the Zwift screen and click on back. Now I am here. If you want to adjust the screen a little bit, make it so you can see the whole screen, we can do that. Just uh, adjust it to fit both. And now, once you start pedaling, both applications should start recording your power and you should be able to start working out. So I'm going to go ahead and start, my, uh, start pedaling my, my bike and we'll see what happens.
here you go. Uh, you, now you should be able to just uh, continue your workout and you'll have both recorded. And uh, once you're done with the workout, it will upload to uh, Zwift and Trainer Road and sync to any other applications you have. Hopefully this video will help and you can see additional more detailed instruction on smartbiketrainers.com.